Cordova is a nice tool to develop app targeting multiple platforms like Android, iOS and Windows. Um, so you just need to have one code base in HTML, CSS and JavaScript for this. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to set up my environment to create Cordova project and open it from Android Studio and finally deploy it to a real Android device uh, using Android Studio. Also, I will show you how to launch a web version of your app from Android Studio 2. Okay, first let me install Cordova on my system. Uh, to do that, we need to have npm package manager. Uh, so let's first download Node.js which includes npm package manager. So let me download it from uh, the website. Okay, so I'm going to download this version 8.9.1 which is a long term. Uh, okay, so I already downloaded it right there. So I will launch it. Okay, so I just double click on that and I'm gonna run it. Okay, now it will open this uh, setup wizard and then you can go to uh, the steps and yeah, this is the folder that you need to place, not JS. So I will keep it as default and next and uh, important thing so you need to have these two things so this will add npm and node.js to the path variable on your system and then uh, okay hit next and you need to install so make sure you have administrative permission to do this so it will take some time to install Okay guys, I just finished installing Node.js, so I will hit finish button. Okay, then a very important thing, so you make sure you have set up the environment variable, so you can go to my computer and right click and go to properties, then advanced system settings, and then environment variables. So make sure you have this variable called Java home, so if you if you do not have this variable and uh, click on new and place name as java home java underscore home and variable value should be uh, equal to your java folder so make sure you are not putting the jdk bin folder it is just uh, uh, the jdk folder so i will go to see my system and java and this is my folder so make sure you have jre bin and lib folder there do not go to the bin folder and put the part there so directly uh, go to jdk folder and copy it and paste it under this variable value okay so it is same so i will hit the cancel because I already set the variable so you guys need to click on ok button okay then uh, so our system is set up to create a, a Cordova app and install the Cordova okay so you need to go to then you need to go to uh, command prompt so you can hit Windows R and type CMD and then uh, you can install Cordova using this command npm space install as g Cordova hit enter so it will first download Cordova from the uh, from the internet and it will install to your system okay guys I just finished installing Cordova and let me create a new Cordova project then we can open it from Android Studio and we can do the rest of the things okay let me create a Cordova project so you can type this command on the same command prompt Cordova create then you need to specify the folder path 
that you need to create your project so I will uh, place it on the documents and let me create a new folder there let me call it test one okay so I will put this path for my project folder so I will paste it and then you need to hit a space and then you need to specify your package name for your application so I will put as um, like this okay test one then hit the space again and then you need to specify your application name I will name it as test one okay then hit enter then it should create all the files and configurations under this folder yeah it is creating these files on my project folder okay now let me run android studio So as a note, so this is the www folder which which is the base code of your, your code or application. So this is the index file uh, which is uh, the file that you are going to run. Okay now this is Android Studio. Okay first you need to install one of plugin called PhoneCap Cordova to the Android Studio so which we enable uh, running the code application in the Android Studio so you can go to file settings and then you can go to plugins and then uh, install JetBrain plugins okay so you can search for phone gap yeah, phone gap code or plugin. Click on this one and you can install it. So it will take some time to install it. Okay, then you need to restart Android Studio. Okay, click on this button and hit apply and okay, then you should restart the Android Studio. Okay. So now we have the plugin installed on the Android Studio. Okay, now I'm gonna open the project that we just created. You can go to File and Open, and then you can go to your project folder. So this is my project folder all the way down there. And if you notice that we have no platform installed on the Cardoa uh, project, so this is just a base code without any platforms. So make sure you uh click on this base folder with the very top of your uh, project and then hit ok then it will open your project on the anode studio okay now since this is not a android project so you can't see anything on the project and this android view so you can go to project and you can see all the things inside the uh, inside your project folder so if you notice that we have www folder which is the base code of your code project uh, we cannot run this project since this is not a android direct android project so we need to get the help of that uh, the plugin so you can click on this icon and edit configurations and then you need to add a new configuration click on plus button and you may see this on gap Cordova. Okay, then you can give it a name. I will name it as Cordova Run. Okay, then make sure you have this thing. So I think this is getting from the path variable, and this is your project folder. And I'm going to run it. I'm not going. To, so if you need to emulate using emulator uh, from the Android Studio, so you can put emulator so I'm going to run it to my phone so I will put run there and here we have the platforms okay so so if you click on more options yeah these are the all the platforms supported by uh, by the Cordova so I'm going to choose Android and hit ok 
Oh, make sure. Uh, so yeah, you are getting this warning. I'm also getting this warning. I think it is doesn't matter because this SDK I already configured on the Android Studio. Okay, so click on Apply and hit OK. Okay, then you can run it. So as you can see here, it is compiling using Cordova. So if you click here and see. So first time it will take some time to compile your project, but after you compile it, because it is, we don't specify platform here, so it is creating platform under this platform folder. So if you notice that, if you go to your project folder it doesn't include any platform so after i run this project it should include android platform under platforms folder yeah it is creating see that this is the android uh greater files and manifest and all the other stuff okay so it is still working Okay, now uh, it is trying to build your project on the Android platform. Okay, guys, it will take some time, so I will get back once it's done. Okay, guys, I am running Cordova app on my Nokia 6 phone, which is my Android phone. As you can see here, so this is the screencast of my phone. So, let me do some changes to the file and see whether we can apply changes on the fly okay so i'm opening this uh, index.html file under ww folder which is our base code so let me put something there a new paragraph so i print my name and i will run it again okay guys so i just running it okay as you can see here it is showing my changes which i made to the base code so and if you notice so it is taking eight seconds to deploy my app to the real device okay now let me show you how to run your application as a web app uh, on browser so simply you can change the run configuration uh, click on this icon and edit configurations and then you can go to this this is our configuration and you can directly change your platform into browser and hit apply and ok now if you run this one then you should add a new platform to our platform folder under your uh, project folder so this is my project folder and this is the platforms folder so it will take some time at the first time okay guys as you can see here so it is running web application uh, under its own uh, server so we, this is a uh, file server as you can see here uh, i think it is showing the server information yeah right here so this is a static file server running on uh, this 833 port okay so this is how you can use android studio to create cordova app so if you notice that i did not run any ad platform or something like that uh, command cordova command on command prompt so you can directly add a new platform and you can do any whatever you need uh, using this plugin so you just need to go to edit configurations and you can add a new a new platform here okay guys hope you enjoyed the video so if you like it please like and if you need more updates click on subscribe button thanks for watching